Let's talk about if fasting is actually healthy for a diabetic. Did you realize that 20% of all healthcare spending in the US is targeted to diabetes and diabetic complications? Now, there are some mixed reviews that state that it's 10%. Some experts say that it's 20%. Regardless, if it's 10% or 20%, it's a lot of money. That's like $350 billion to $700 billion a year spent on diabetes. That is crazy. Now, in the US alone, we have 84 million people who are pre-diabetic and 30 million who are diabetic. And I would venture to say that there's probably uh, at least 150 million that have insulin resistance that are on their way to becoming a pre-diabetic. And still, there is no agreement on the best diet for type 2 diabetes amongst the medical experts. Now, why is that? Well, I'm just going to just draw a little connection right here, guys. I think, I think you got the hint right there, right? You know why. And as far as medication goes with diabetes, there's two main um, mechanisms. One is targeting insulin resistance with uh, metformin, which is probably one of the most popular medication. And then you have other medications, okay? This is an example, that will increase insulin, okay? So those are the two main mechanisms. The problem is, that these medications have a special warning, black label. They actually increase the risk of cardiovascular mortality by 59 to 68%. Now, wait a second, wait a second. It doesn't make sense to me. Isn't the goal when you manage diabetes to keep you alive longer? Well, apparently not. Apparently the goal is to manage your blood sugars, to make sure your blood sugars are normalized. Well, this is what you need to realize. High insulin is just as damaging as high blood glucose. So yes, we need insulin, we need normal insulin, but we don't need tremendous amounts. And anytime you're trying to solve a problem with a solution to handle maybe blood sugars, yet that solution is giving you a bigger problem, then you need to really evaluate what's going on. Now that foundation leads me to uh, the main uh, topic, which is fasting for diabetes. Okay, so what is the data? And I put some links down below. This is fascinating. If you combine therapeutic fasting, and no, we're not talking about starvation. We're talking about uh, controlled uh, fasting where you're making sure you have all your nutrients, okay? So you're taking supplements and vitamins because the problem with diabetics is they're very, very deficient in nutrients because they have insulin resistance, so they can't really absorb it. So you'd want to give them nutrients uh, while they're fasting. So therapeutic fasting, while the person's on a low-carb diet, produces some really amazing results, okay? Within four months, no need for insulin. So I'm going to put a link down below so you can read the case studies and other studies on this. Uh, decrease in A1C. Decrease in waist size. Number four, able to control your blood sugars. Now, why does fasting work for diabetes? Simply because it decreases the need for insulin, okay? And if the need for insulin is not there, the pancreas doesn't have to work so hard, so the cells that make insulin finally have a chance to rejuvenate, okay? Because the real problem with diabetes is the high sugar and also the beta cell in the pancreas that produces insulin that's working so hard around the clock to be able to regulate the high glucose that's coming from your diet. Okay, so the combination of decreasing the need for insulin by both of these actions right here, low carb and fasting are extremely therapeutic versus treating the person with something that increases insulin. Well, now we know why it creates problems because the side effects from too much insulin are just as bad as too much glucose. So if you are a diabetic, I would highly recommend you look into doing therapeutic fasting with a low carb uh, and see if it could work for you. Thanks for watching. Hey, before you leave, I just wanted to give you a little quick history on some of the books that I wrote. This was one of the first books it's called Dr. Berg Body Shapes. It was my attempt at um, writing about body types. Uh, what was very interesting about this book is I actually did all the images myself. Uh, don't ask me why. Um, they look actually 
not quite as professional as some of the uh, images that I have in the new book. But anyway, this is my first attempt right here called Dr. Berg's Body Shape Diets. Uh, and then I wrote a book um, more extensive called The Seven Principles of Fat Burning. I don't even have a copy anymore, actually, um, because it's outdated. Uh, the next book, uh, I put about a thousand hours into this one right here called The New Body Type Guide, Major Updates on the Body Types. Uh, I put a lot of energy into this. Uh, it has professional images, graphics, all sorts of things. Now, the problem with this book is it doesn't really describe what this is really about. Body types are only a small portion of what's in this book. And that's why I changed the name to the Healthy Keto Plan, okay? If you happen to have this book, you don't really need this book because there's some only very, very minor updates. But if you don't have this, you need to get this one right here. Um, this book goes into every single detail that you would ever wanna know about. It goes into the seven principles of fat burning. It goes into hormones, uh, the body types, the basic keto plan. It goes into intermittent fasting. I talk about the 10 fat burning triggers and blockers and fat burning strategies with a lot of details in every single chapter. I go into body issues that interfere with losing weight. Um, there's very few people that just have a weight problem. They have a lot of body issues, whether it's sleeping problems, uh, stress problems, inflammation, menopause. I cover that extensively in this book. Then I talk about how to get rid of stress and I show you a technique. Uh, then I get into exercising. And then I have a lot of really good recipes in this book as well. So uh, this is a good reference guide. Um, on my website, if you get this book, you get this one free. It's called Healthy Keto Intermittent Fasting. This is the shortcut, uh, quick guide to this book. And uh, the reason I created this book is to have you, within 45 minutes, learn how to do keto, okay, in intermittent fasting, exactly what you need to do. Then you can fill in the blanks with this book right here. So right now I'm doing a special. If you get this book, you get this one totally free, or you can go to Amazon and get these individually. So I just want to clarify the difference between this book and this updated one right here. If you don't have this, you need to get this right here. That way you can get the exact correct information to do it healthily.